Hello, my dear students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Land. This is Suresh, faculty of chemistry. Today, we are going to discuss about equivalent weight, the most important topic for NEET examination. All the best for your NEET examination for 10 to 25. And this is supposed to be the last uh, YouTube uh, session in the 2024. Happy New Year in advance. So, my dear students here, before going for this equivalent weight examination, equivalent weight we are going to discuss about uh, India's largest scholarship examination score. So why this is India's largest scholarship examination because it provides you a scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and also you will be giving a study setup and laptop and also so many educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship that of course you opt for it. In the description box a link is available you just click it and enroll for score examination NJL and the score examination can be for any student you can write simply at home because the examination for only online examination so all the best my dear students enjoy your score exam and also very important before start starting the concept yeah. 2025 all India NEET test preparation series pack and this Test pack include 27 EITS examinations, which includes 13 unit test and 4 part test and 10 grant test. And it is based on NEET pattern and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test. And also class 11 and 12th total based on NEET will be covered. And also 25 NEET topic wise previous year questions and uh, three physics chemistry books are available along with video solutions on the app and the detailed solutions and performance reports for every test that you are going to opt and also at last but not least uh, your performance in the test series will be benchmarked with the Sri Chaitanya students so that you will be having a perfect analysis on your prediction of your score and the cost of this package is 10,000 rupees and it is given discounted price 4,199 and it is only available once you apply the coupon code SR40 mind it once you apply coupon code SR40 automatically the discount is going to be applicable and in the description box link is available you just click it and enjoy the all India test series pack my dear students all the best and we are entering into the equivalent weight. So what is the equivalent weight? So equivalent weight can be calculated for a reaction in a reactant where it could be a non-redox reaction and it could be a redox reaction. And the equivalent fact weight is equal to molecular weight by some factor that we say Z factor or N factor we can say that valence factor is equal to for non redox reactions it is going to be for an acid it is going to be number of h plus ions that can be donated and for a base it is going to be number of oh minus that can be donated and for a salt it is going to be the either total one magnitude of the positive charge or magnitude of the negative charge so what if a redox reaction so i am going to give you more emphasis for the redox reaction kyunki a topic mein bachcho log ke बहुत कंफ्यूजन आ रहे हैं सो नीट एग्जामिनेशन में आपका एक मार्क एक क्वेश्चन निकालने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं से सो इन रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन वी कैन फाइंड द इक्विवेलेंट वेट एज इक्विवेलेंट वेट इज इक्वल टू मॉलिक्यूलर वेट बाय दिस वैलेंसी फैक्टर यू कैन से z सो व्हाट इज दैट z फैक्टर वी आर गोइंग टू से दैट इज द चेंज इन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट और दैट इज गोइंग टू बी नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट आर ट्रांसफर्ड इन द रेडॉक्स चेंज so let's see potassium permanganate is an example in acidic medium potassium permanganate takes the five electrons because plus seven oxidation state is converted into plus two oxidation state so that they require the difference of charge five so that five electrons are required so that equivalent weight of potassium permanganate is equal to molecular weight of potassium permanganate divided by five if it is for the neutral and alkaline medium Potassium permanganate plus 7 oxidation state is converted into plus 4 oxidation state. There is a change in the charge of difference of 3 electrons. So that equivalent weight is going to be molecular weight by 3. So this is a popular redox change you can see in the redox reactions. And you can also say various redox changes with KMNO4, K 
K2Cr2O7, H2O2 and uh, sodium thiocyanate. And uh, you can see K2Cr2O7 in acidic medium we require 6 electrons and uh, equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight by 6. And you can also see hydrogen peroxide in acidic medium it require 2 electrons so that molecular weight by 2 and hydrogen peroxide in the basic medium is also required 2 electrons so that molecular weight by 2. So, in a redox change hydrogen peroxide either in acidic medium or a basic medium its equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight by 2. And you can also see oxalic acid plus 3 oxidation state of the oxalic acid carbon is changed to plus 4 oxidation state. When you change this 3 to 4 by balancing the carbons over here, 2 electrons are required. So, when oxalic acid is oxidized, it is going to be the molecular weight by 2 is the equivalent weight of oxalic acid. And also, sodium thiosulfate, it is said to be sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate is said to be hypo. When this thiosulfate is converted into tetra thionate we require two electrons into the action so that according to this equation you are going to get equivalent weight by molecular weight by one how it is possible sir here showing two electrons now two electrons are shown for two moles of hypo for one mole of hypo it is going to be equivalent weight by one that is very very important and a tricky point so mind it the equivalent weight is always is for number of electrons involved per one mole or one molecule of the reactant side you have to say and also the find the equivalent weight of FeSO4 in the following reaction just uh, it is an example of question where FeSO4 plus 2 oxidation state is converted into Fe3 plus so which require from plus 3 and plus 2 to plus 3 I require 1 electron by using that simple trick we can say equivalent weight of FeSO4 is equal to and molecular weight by 1. FeSO4 is generally incorporated in the form of more salt ferrous ammonium sulphate and also you can see uh, sulfur dioxide is oxidized to sulphate in acidic medium calculate the equivalent mass of sulfur dioxide. So, it, these are the simple examples can be given into the action like sulfur dioxide plus 4 oxidation state of the sulfur. When it is converted into plus 6 oxidation state of a sulfur, there is a requirement of 2 electrons. So, there is an involvement of 2 electrons. So, equivalent mass of the sulfur dioxide is equal to molecular mass by 2. Molecular mass of sulfur dioxide is 64 divided by 2 is equal to 32 is coming. And also you can see various example equivalent this is a toughest questions that you can get it equivalent weight of some specific reagents which more than one type of uh, uh, element undergoing change in the both oxidation state okay you can say copper sulfide in that copper sulfide it is converted copper plus one oxidation state sulfur minus two oxidation state. So, copper plus 1 oxidant state is converted into plus 2 oxidant state. So, for that you require 2 electrons in that, whereas sulphide is converted into sulphur dioxide, total 6 electrons are required. So, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. So, the equivalent weight of uh, Cu2S is going to be molecular mass by 8, total number of electrons involved in, in such cases. And ferrous oxalate is also taken into one more example. Ferrous oxalate Fe2 plus is converted into Fe3 plus. So, you require one electron. Oxalate is converted into carbon dioxide. You require two electrons. Total three electrons are required. So, that equivalent weight of ferrous oxalate is going to be molecular weight divided by three. Kind of uh, questions are very, very, very important. And also for a disproportionation reaction, the element in which a same element, the reaction in which the same element undergoes simultaneous oxidation and reduction is said to be a disproportionation reaction. Let us say for this uh, iodine is undergoing a disproportionation in the presence of basic medium gives rise iodide and IO3 minus. For this uh, you require Z1 number of electrons you require Z2 number of electrons. So, that disproportionation reaction you can say equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight of iodine divided by Z1 plus 
e molecular weight of iodine upon z2 so you can say 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2 is the z factor or the valency factor such type of reactions is very important and if you take that in the case equivalent weight is equal to equivalent weight of the oxidation plus equivalent weight of the reduction so equivalent weight of the oxygen oxidation you can say 10 electrons are required you can see here i could find 10 electrons for this first oxidation and this second one require two electrons for the reduction so in this disproportionation you can say 1 by 10 plus 1 by 2 so i mean to say 127 is the molecular mass of iodine so that uh, the total moles that are required is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 3 by 5 z is equal to 5 by 3 is very very important based on that equivalent weight of iodine is equal to 3 into molecule 3 by 5 into molecular weight of iodine so 3 by 5 into molecular weight of iodine is 254 127 plus 127 it comes to be 152.4 like that you can be having a sharp edged questions from the neat examination based on equivalent weight hope you can do this equivalent weight concept questions definitely you can expect a question from the neat examination based on this equivalent weight hope you enjoyed this session and today's session we learn about what is valence factor equivalent weight for non-redox change and a redox change and disproportionation changes and everything Please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Lane YouTube channel and stay tuned for such type of short videos based on concept clearance and advanced happiness. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you.